today I I wasn't feeling too energetic this morning so I had my wheat bakes in bed and I've just been editing all day I finally finished the wait third or fourth part of my San Francisco vlogs it was the Oakland part so I'm super excited and I've just basically been FaceTiming Mr. Tony Toe all day but yeah we had to stop FaceTiming for a while because I got so so hungry and he was eating dinner and I was just watching him and I was like we need to stop calling because this is making me very ugh. lunch has arrived though today we have got Japanese crispy chicken cutlet donberry donberry sorry with QP mayonnaise and teriyaki sauce that's what the photo looks like this is what it really looks like which it looks like it could be filmed. I hope so. I can see the mayonnaise, um, which excites me very much. And I love how they put it all in compostable takeaway cups. All the juices uh, that we've been getting in all the containers, or most of them have been in uh, compostable packaging, which is great. There's the cutlet. We've got a bit of a little veggie salad there and there. I'm eating it with a spoon. Do I eat it with my hand? Mmm, it is crispy. I think it's like freshly fried actually. I feel like this whole quarantine period though, I've had a lot of rice. Got some teriyaki sauce. Mmm. Oh, it's sushi rice too. Very refreshing. These two were actually a bonus because it doesn't say anything about that on the lunch options. I'm very impressed that they use sushi rice though. By the way guys, my mum called me this morning just to tell me that she was a great citizen and told someone off on the bus for not having their mask on. She was taking the bus. The bus driver came on and she didn't say anything to the guy that didn't have a mask on. And right now in New Zealand, it's mandatory to have your masks on public transport. And so he sat down and the whole time she was very, like she felt kind of uncomfortable. He was around two seats in front of her. And he was, she was more just annoyed that he wasn't be, take, doing his part because what if he did have uh, COVID, then everyone on the bus could be exposed to it. She doesn't usually, like, isn't someone that's super, oh, commenting on society, like, blah, blah, blah. But she was very adamant that he should have had a mask on. It's like everyone's responsibility right now to try and not spread it or minimize contact. And mask is obviously a big, big part of it. So when she got off the bus, she went up to him and decided to tell him and just say, hey, look, you, you should have your mask mask on not aggressively just telling him and she just decided to call me she was very proud and I was proud too but I didn't really show it because I had no energy so I was like great job but yeah she even sent me a picture of him the back of his head she like took a photo of the back of his head and was like this is what he looked like <laughs> uh, but yeah that happened there's a lot of rice also guys I missed online Zumba this morning I just got the email and they just reminded me saying there was online Zumba and I think there's online bingo either tonight or tomorrow night I can't remember but yeah do you guys rem remember me telling you guys about the online class like fun classes that they have here <laughs> All right, I'm gonna continue eating this and I will see you when I next eat. Okay guys, it's around 3.30 and I am so hungry. So we're gonna do a little experiment. <laughs> I've got a tea, an Earl Grey tea. I put some milk in it as well. And I'm craving kind of like dipping a cookie into my tea. But since we don't have any of that, I am going to dip a wheat bix in there. Um, as you know, wheat bix is a breakfast cereal it's definitely not a biscuit we're just gonna have to see how this goes but i thought i'd oh gosh i don't think this is a good idea mm -mm. oh my gosh no take that back i'm just gonna eat my mandarin <laughs> what is up guys it is dinner time woo woo but i also know that tonight's dinner isn't gonna be super exciting so i thought i would do a little bonus clip and give you a room tour Okay, so first we enter through the door because what else do we enter through? Uh, and then we come in here and we have my bathroom. I never really like to look at bathrooms when I see room tours, so I'm just gonna quickly show you. Um, so yeah, this is kind of, you know, standard. There's a mirror, there's a 
shower and then here is my closet it looks messy but I've actually hardly unpacked anything all I have to do is close that suitcase when I leave and then all my clothes are here oh there's my brows and underwear but you know all girls have them so very normal it's my little wardrobe in here is where they gave us cutlery and like wine glasses and everything like that I've been keeping my little cakes and pastries today we had a red velvet cake so I had that and then some leftover brownies we get a bunch of tea and coffee and then here we have a little lounge the table belongs there but I use it as like my dinner table sometimes I sit here and chill I do my workout here there's a little office space with a light that I found out two days ago Oh, look at that. I know, right? Bag of salt and pepper. My makeup, which I've only used once. Kardashians. I haven't washed this in like five years and I saw this on tonight. So I was like, why not? And then, of course, here is my, I think this is a king size bed. But this is an LED light. And then, of course, this controls this light. Um, let's put it there for now. And then there's Tony. But yes, this is my room. Alrighty, let's go. Face done. Tonight is couscous with grilled vegetables and beans. I don't know why it says grilled vegetables and beans because beans is a vegetable. Maybe because it's not grilled. I also got apple juice again. Shall we see what this infamous grill, uh, grilled vegetables couscous is gonna look like? We got our compostable packaging. Mm, smells good. There you go. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't topple over everywhere. See, oh gosh. <laughs> Save the couscous. Save the couscous fell on the bed. My new bed sheets that I changed yesterday. I don't know how filling this is going to be. Let's try this out. Oh, imagine if we had some sauce. All I have is bag of salt and pepper. This is deep with couscous. You can't even see the bottom. The beans are good though. Bon appetit. Okay, I've just finished dinner. It was okay. The couscous was a little bit dry, but hey, dinner is dinner, food is food. So, we are now going to have some dessert. I'm going to try some of this red velvet cake. Isn't red velvet cake just like normal cake, but with red food coloring? It is so thick. Oh my goodness, and that icing looks amazing. Mm. I don't know how they do it, but like... It's always really moist. Anyways, I'm gonna have a few more bites of this, have a tea maybe, and that will be it for today. Thank you so much for watching today's Quarantine Food Diaries. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!